Right, guys. So now let's talk about you've got your candidate, you've got your, your person's applied for a job. Let's put them through an interview. So beauty of Zoho is that you can always jump around to get to the people that you need. or you can, There's always multiple links to the same page. So I can go to the file arm, say, right, I need to associate. Right, I'm going to schedule all the all the interviews for this job today. So I go to associated candidates. Obviously, we've only got one, but you would have 50 or more, hopefully. I click on uh, the applicant. I can, If I want to, I can go and uh, associate uh, LinkedIn. What's my LinkedIn? I can add some links to it. I can grab the URL. Oh, let's close some windows with a world open. I can associate a LinkedIn account, so I can click on that LinkedIn to see any information if I'm just going to go and research them. Same with Facebook and Twitter. Yep, you have to connect to Twitter. Let me see if it'll, uh, it'll connect. There's something wrong with my Chrome, I think. But it would obviously search Twitter for anybody with that name. Give you an option, then you associate it if you know it's that person. So... I've got all the information they filled in on the sign-up form. Everything that, that would have been um, information, if it was asked for, would have been filled in. Now, you can, if you've researched or spoke to them via email, add information. Add, uh, you know, I've had a call, I've had a meeting, or if it's just a note, I've worked with Mark... Uh, that's another company, something like that, right? You can start adding your notes. You can start adding your information. Uh, you can email. You can send Mark an email direct uh, from Paul to subject. Why are you interested? Um, I don't know. What email would you say? Don't want to start interview if you are not available, right? Send, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't send something like that. But all of a sudden, all the emails that you're, you've sent and received will be logged in this, in this area here. So you now, you can see you're building up what's happening between you and this, this um, candidate, right? So I've just got an email here. Part, uh, don't start. Now, the problem when I reply is I'm going to reply via my email, which is not Mark's. So it may not tag. Uh, I like fire alarms. Uh, I am finishing contract. I didn't spell, but I can't be bothered soon, right? Send. That might not come back under that because it's gone. it'll go back as my email, not Mark at, because obviously I don't use that. Right, so you can see that you can email and contact somebody direct from within Zoho, uh, within Z Recruit, and you're going to see uh, you're going to see the emails building up, and you can see all the interaction between you and your team, or if somebody else, if you've got access to your, your team's email uh, within this, you can see what everybody's been saying to everybody um, to that candidate. You get what I'm saying? The reply would be there if. I used the email mark at Paul Nicholson, but I don't, obviously. So what we're interested in, though, is now we're interested in this candidate. We're going to schedule an interview. So schedule interview. We're going to say who's going to uh, interview type, general interview. So you could do it online or phone, whatever you get. Again, you can change these labels as you want. We're going to do a general interview. Candidates mark, fire department, fire alarm technician, date. We're going to say it's on next, when, oh, that's Boxing Day, isn't it? Uh, in between Christmas and New Year. Um, what time? 2.30 p.m. We're going to say it's going to last till 3.30. Okay, an hour's a bit long. Interviewees, Harry HR's going to be there. Paul Nicholson's not going to be there. Uh, and... Let's say Sarah Sales. We're going to hit him with three people. Location, um, conference room. I only notice how bad I am at spelling when I have to do live videos. Schedule comments. Um, no good candidate. 
should be fun. <laughs> Uh, any attachments, any information, and you save it, right? Now, I'm going to get an email. Uh, Mark's going to get an email, and then the interviewers are going to get an email saying it's been scheduled. So there's there's Mark's email. So this is what the candidate gets. Hello, Mark. Uh, we are pleased to let you know you've been uh, scheduled for interview. Uh, here's a reference. Uh, da, 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 and here's the date. Kindly mark your presence 10 minutes prior to the meeting, right? Now, here's the three interviewers. Interviewer, oh, hello, Harry, Paul. Uh, this is notified that you have been scheduled to conduct an interview uh, on that date, right? So, Sarah, same thing. And Harry HR, same thing. So, everybody's got an interview. Everybody, if they want to mark the calendars, can uh, do it. And now we're scheduled for an interview.